Let's go. We've lost a lot of time here, a lot of time. This just got a lot more difficult. This is a story that began in the summer of 2020 when there were no races to take part in. So in order to challenge myself, I set out to achieve an FKT, a fastest known time and I attempted it on a trail a little over nine kilometers long that runs between Leatherhead and Dorking in the county of Surrey. With a time of 50 minutes and 38 seconds, I snagged that FKT. But my fastest known time lasted just four days because when you make a video about an FKT and other people watch them, it's inevitable that someone is gonna say, well, I could beat that time. And that's exactly what happened. It's since been beaten again and is now well out of my reach. So today I am back, I am back attempting the Mole Gap Trail fastest known time again, but this time for the out and back. But I think I might just need some help for this one. And that help came in the form of a man who goes by the name of Harry and arrived in a car park in Leatherhead wearing a bright orange jog on top. And as I put on my trail shoes and we walked towards the start line, I explained to Harry exactly what we needed to do. So the time we've got to beat is one hour, 44 minutes and two seconds. <laughs> Which is roughly, if we did it at five minutes, 30 seconds per kilometer, yep. I think that is that was good enough, that would do it. With that, Harry rubbed his hands and we were off. Watch is zeroed and ready to go. Okay, let's go. Or were we? Loading. <laughs> Do you want to start again? <laughs> okay, we're ready, I think. Watch is ready. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Just coming up to three minutes in. Funny how getting through gates almost becomes an art in of itself when you're running quick trail stuff. It's like you actually don't to try to get to the gate and swing it open and get through. It's nice and soft underfoot as well. It is. And now we're off those pavements and most of it is pretty, pretty hard trails, but as I say, Rain last night, so softened it up a little bit for us. Yeah. And not too warm today. I've gone road shoes, you've gone trail. Yep. See who falls. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be me. <laughs> Let's climb. Not too much elevation on this route, but there is some. And this is one of the steeper bits heading out to Dorking. Oh, oh I'm muddy a bit. <laughs> this is where your shoes come into their own. <laughs> I fall on my face. As we made our way up to the top of the first climb, it was time for a weather update. A little bit of a breeze now, which is quite nice, but it is pretty warm. First of the uh, big hills just gone up. Legs are a little bit sore. I quite like that we're sort of uh, running this with haste. <laughs> There's an element of whatever you do, it's kind of, it's slightly rushed. It's almost like you're we're late for something. A challenge of sure. I think just having that ticking clock, you're constantly aware of it, so it, means whatever you do, you're trying to do it a little bit quicker than usual. 
cool. Yeah, you'd have to research this trail quite well to know where to go. It's bouncing on the road and all of a sudden you veer off on this obscure grass path. Navigation was going to be key to our challenge because there were no actual signs that told us we were running on the Mole Gap Trail. Not far off the five kilometre mark now. 27 minutes and five seconds of running. One slip and barely a wrong turn. <laughs> I had 5k in the, the high 27s there, I was a 528. For that, for that fifth kilometer, okay. yeah. That's, not, that's okay. Yeah, about 20, sorry, not high 27s, about, about 27.20 for the 5k. So we'd done the first 5k in a time of 27 minutes and 20 seconds, which was an average pace of 5 minutes 28 seconds per kilometre, and pretty much perfect, just a couple of seconds under our 5 minutes 30 per kilometre target pace. But then... Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Not sure now, not sure, this isn't good. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's take yeah, a chance. Let's, try it. let's take a chance. What? Your eyesight's better than mine. Where, where does that look like it's? Oh, jeez. I hope we haven't I gone off there. I hope that's not the purple one there. Do we need to come down and go left down there? No, we need to go back on trail if if we've gone off. Like, oh no. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we think we've gone wrong, and it's quite a big going wrong. Potentially. Do we know where it was? Not really, no. See, this looks kind of right from memory, but... It do I don't see where we would have gone. I th oh no, I think we go through that field. I do. What do you reckon, run I back? I think we have to go back. Oh my God. We've lost a lot of time here. <laughs> a lot of time. This just got a lot more difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We're a lot quicker this way. This has been a fairly drastic error. Right, we think it's this. This is where we went wrong. This is definitely where we went wrong. Ah. How much time did we lose then? I think we've lost a lot of time. <laughs> a lot. Oh no. <laughs> you know. Wow maybe four minutes, five minutes. And it was a lot of time, as you can see on the map, how far we ran along the trail before realizing we had gone wrong and then turning back. So we were, we were right up there in the trees, yeah. kind of heading up a slope, but we should have just stayed down here on the flat. We were climbing as well, so we've had to yeah. unnecessarily climb a slope. <sighs> I don't want to go wrong again. But, uh, I remember this bit. I wish I would remember that bit back there. <laughs> I think we saw it. I think we acknowledged it was there, but we just, we just didn't seem to it go. wasn't, yeah. We've got a new pacer. Can we get a bit under 5.30s now, please? We went, we went wrong, so hold that pace, rest. All right, calm down. All right, the pace has dropped out. Yeah, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's just do the rest on our own. That's right. But we carried on, increasing our effort in an attempt to make up the time we had lost. And it wasn't too long until we reached the most picturesque part of the route, crossing the River Mole. This is glorious. It is. Soon after that, we were in a vineyard. Oh, right, we made it to Denby's, the vineyard. No grapes out yet. I suppose we have to wait for another month or two for that but 
Okay, distance and time, this is where we should be turning about, but we're not. We're still running through the vineyard. We've still got quite a bit to go, I think, before we reach Dorking, so we are well behind time at the moment. I mean, even though we're picking up the pace now, it's just gonna be so difficult. Yeah. So I guess there's the option of we either get to Dorking turn and just go for it and see what we can do, or we accept defeat today, but not stop the run, just enjoy the scenery on the way back. So yeah, well, <laughs> we'll make our mind up soon. <laughs> just charging down to the turning point in Dorking with Chris and we're both a little more tired than we probably should be. We've also just passed the time and distance at which point Chris has wisely said we were meant to have turned. But as it is, we're still headed to the halfway point because of our, our slight error on the path. It has meant we've added quite a bit. And it just so happened that error was uphill and we could have been on flat. So the legs, I think, are a little more fatigued than we would like. But it is lovely weather. We've got great scenery. It's just <laughs> the whole thing's now a little rushed. Halfway, we can't stop though. We need to go back. What's the time on the watch? One hour, one minute, 45 seconds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean we have to do? And distance, what, what distance? We're over 11k, aren't we? 11.24 kilometers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Supposed to be, I think. They've managed to get out somehow. We can't get back in. Right, we get past. Just hitting 17.68 kilometers, strolling across this field here. It has dawned on us, well, it dawned on us in Dorking that getting the FKT looked highly improbable because of the distance and time for which we were going the wrong way. I think it just ate into it a bit too much. And I think you were saying we would have had to have run literally the fastest FKT just for the one way, let alone two ways, to get yeah. back in time. It just wasn't going to happen today. It, but there's always another day. Absolutely. And I'm fully up for coming back and retesting this with Chris. It's almost like going back to face an old nemesis that may have defeated us once, but we won't quit and we'll be back to take it back on.
just past the 19 kilometer mark of this rate it looks like we might get quite close to the uh, the old distance of 21.1 of course which is the half marathon mark we've <laughs> genuinely had that long a run but the mole gap trail now just leading us back towards our finish line at leatherhead it's been a great run with chris if a little uh lengthy and tiring i guess <laughs> It's been a lot further than we were planning. <laughs> it's taken a lot longer, but we've had a really enjoyable run and I think we will be back to, uh, we can't be defeated by this. Nope. It was purely a navigation error. 20 kilometers run, one hour and 57 minutes so far, nearly there. Yeah. Here we go, the finishing straight. Oh. Just inside two hours. Oh, just inside two hours. A long way off where we had intended, but there we go. One hour, 59 minutes and 10 seconds. I'm gonna make it inside two. Stop the watch. Oh, 159.20. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really well good. Done. So today wasn't to be, but I just want to thank Harry for coming along with me, kept me company. We had a great run together. If you haven't checked out his channel, do go along. Links below. Check it out. It's, he makes some really great videos. And guys, we will be back. We'll probably be back on Harry's channel attempting this again because we can't be beaten by what happened today. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please who do hit the thumbs up button to give the video a like. And if you're new around here, well, why not consider subscribing as well? But for now, guys, from Leatherhead, goodbye. <laughs>